And the race for governor is the headline campaign for many Texans this election cycle. Three News reporter Jalissa Garza spoke with an expert about this key race and joins us in the studio with more. Good morning, Jalissa. Good morning, y'all. This is a race many Texans have their eyes on, and we've consistently seen two big names, incumbent Governor Greg Abbott and Democratic candidate Bethel O'Rourke. Those two predicted to win their, their party seats in this primary. Associate Professor of Political Science at Texas A&M University Kingsville, Travis Braidwood, says these two candidates are likely to win their primaries. It's something many predict, but he says the numbers for Bethel aren't looking too good, adding that his presidential run hurt his numbers. Now, as for Governor Greg Abbott Braidwood says he has a strong chance of winning re-election, but the question is, would the governor run for president? I think it's definitely there. I mean, now we're looking at like DeSantis in Florida. Trump's probably 99% going to run again. Um, it seems like, you know, we've, we've sort of parsing out the field of candidates so far. So, I mean, if you're a Texan and you're thinking about voting for governor, the, maybe the question should be, well, how long is he going to be in office? Because he pretty much is gearing up for that presidential run. Doesn't mean he'll win but it seems like that's going to occupy a lot of his time. Along with the governor, Texans will also vote for attorney general, lieutenant governor, U.S. House of Representative seats, and Texas Senate and House seats. Now, the polls open at 7 a.m. The, the time is ticking, and they close at 7 p.m. If you show up right at 7 in the evening, do not worry. You'll still be able to cast your ballot. And before you head out the door, you can head to our website, ktriplitv.com, where we have a full list of where you can vote. Barbie, John Thomas, 